Welcome, everyone. We're going to do a demo for our injector series cartridges today. My name is Charlie Lerman, also known as the Grout Geek. I'm the director of technical services here at Alchemy Speed Tech, of course, for the leak seal side. So we have another, uh, uh, a number of other demos that we show, and actually similar products here, but this is a different type of packaging. In case you, know, you have a small job where you don't want to get out a full pump and, and have to, to set all that up and, and go through that work, you can use the cartridge series. We have both the F400 and our high foamer in this injector series. The F400 is a flexible product and what we'll be just demonstrating here. The high foamer is a highly expansive, uh, uh, semi-rigid product that's used for uh, curtain grouting and gushing water flow to take control of high flows, fast moving water or cold water. Um, we're gonna use a flexible hydrophobic. Both the products that I talked about are hydrophobic. So this is actually has two components in here. We have the catalyst that's inside, but it's all in a standard 10.8 ounce cartridge that fits your standard uh, uh, cartridge or cock gun. Um, it does employ a static mixer. So I'll go through a couple things before we're gonna inject. And what I have here for the demo is just a paper of the PVC. We're just simulating a joint in concrete there. So, very simply, this comes like this. You'll have the static mixer. You can unscrew the, the cap here. You remove, and sometimes these are a little tricky, and this one came right out. You remove that. Now, once I've taken this green piece off, you don't want to point this out at the ground. Gravity does work, and it will cause the product to come running out. But I can just go ahead and pop on the static mixer there. Pop my nut back on. Wing that right back down there. Swing it around. You put the back side in first. And you just pop that bad boy right in there. And there we go. So we've got our F400 that's loaded up and good to go. Now, before I inject, I'm going to show you that here on the static mixer, we have a quick connect. A lot of times, you'll just drill your hole and you'll put this in and use body weight to kind of keep it in there. It doesn't give you the best seal in there. You can take a rag or some oakum and put it around there. Still, again, that's not the best seal. So if you want to, to get up to have an injector, we've got a number of tips and a quick connector here that we can put on the end of our static mixer. So this will have the tube and you just pop it, pop it right on the end here and you can have a corner surface mounted port that you put on with epoxy. You can have a 3 8 inch hole that you drill and just put this in as an injector or we have a surface mounted port. And then we also have caps for when you're done injecting, you put these caps back on there. So there's different delivery methods but it's still the same concept. You're still trying to get to the grout to the right place. So we've already wet this paver and I've got a half inch hole, so I've got a little bit of a big hole right, right here on the back side. Now I'm gonna go ahead and start pumping back here. So I just give it a squeeze, and let me pull this up a little bit. You can see it's coming through the static mixer a little bit. Now one of the tricks you can do, you see I've got it at the end there. I could leave this for a second and, and wait. It's gonna take some of the humidity from the air and start going off a little bit. You can see it's already getting a little cloudy at the tip there. And it's not so much down here because it's not getting any moisture. But you can go ahead and inject. And you can see that it's traveling pretty close to a circle and then gravity is pulling it down there. Unfortunately, from my viewpoint, I can't see what I'm doing. So I'm going to take a look to see how much I need to inject. There we go. So typically, you eject until you see it come to the outside or you're shutting down the, the water. But in a moment here, we will start, and I'm going to only eject a little more, but we'll start to see it uh, react and go off inside there. Okay, and I'm to the edge there. So I'm going to go ahead and stop. And you can see here, I do have to be up. You can see the white. That's the production our grout is starting. You'll also watch that it's going to expand. This product wants to expand about four to six times its size, but it's not going to be able to because it's in confinement. We're going to get three types of bonds. As you can see, it does. It sticks to me. It sticks to, to uh, my clothes and to my PPE. Uh, that's why we wear it. But our uh, adhesive bond is the weakest. We're going to get a compressive and a mechanical seal in there as well. Uh, and so now we're, we're watching as this grout goes off. And... Um, you can see it's pushing and it's going to start moving the grout up higher and through the system here. You see these little black dots that are forming and that's going to be the carbon dioxide uh, going off there and pressing our grout. Now, we're going to end up with two 
kind of different looking foams at the end here in our demo. This foam out here is going to get its free foam and get its full volume rise, whereas this is going to be more of a dense rubbery type product that's inside there. But you can already see how it's, it's moved and traveled further in, in, into the uh, crack and joint, and it's pressurizing itself. Um, Again, there's the carbon dioxide production. So we can do this with both the F400 and, like I said, also the high foamer. The high foamer typically you wouldn't be putting in a joint because it's not a flexible grout. This grout will take 100% elongation and, and full crush, whereas the high foamer is designed to shut off high flows of water and to uh, um, basically uh, uh, help stabilize some of the soil mass there behind a, a wall or, or you know, in, in a wall system. But you can see we've had good reaction, and we've gone off. And you would do typically a, a number of different ports, usually about a one-foot spacing. But uh, depending on your, your substrate, you can always give us a call. We'll talk to you about you know, what, what's the best approach and how you want to do this. But these kind of things are great when you're looking at doing, um, say, like a precast joint in a vault or something like that. Super easy, quick in and out there. No pump setup, no pump cleanup, all those kind of things. Just one cartridge, and you're, and you're good to go. So again, we're, we're uh, almost done with our reaction. If you feel here, we're probably still a little tacky. Yep. But that is simple crack injection with our cartridge. Now, people wonder, they're like, well, how long is this going to last before it goes off? The static mixture actually will stay quite a while. You'll see it's not exposed to water. So even though we have the two components in here already mixed, we have plenty of time to go between hole and, uh, and hole and not lose our static mixer there. And if you ever start to gum up a little bit of the tip, just give it a little squeeze, and you'll pull some raw product out there and uh, have plenty of, of working time with your product. Once again, this is the Injector Series from Alchemy Speed Tech. I'm Charlie Lerman. I'm the Grout Geek. Alchemy Speed Tech is your full-service grouting source. Thank you very much.